Previously on Pokemon Horizons, Freed arranges for Liko, Roy, and Dot to attend the Rahat Academy to learn more about Terrestrialization. After they receive their Terra Orbs, they're assigned to travel across Paldea and participate in the Gym Challenge, where if they pass, they get to keep their newfound power. What other adventures await for our trio? Let's find out now! EP Artiverse! We arrive to Medali for Dot's terrestrial test, but before we get to that, Roy wants to stop and grab a bite. Aw oh, man, even Dot wants to get this over with. Come on, Roy! Anyway, the group stops at the Anything Eatery for a bite because the restaurant's purpose is to serve literally everything. The trio learns that the restaurant is struggling thanks to everyone stopping over at the Treasure Eatery. So Liko, Roy, and Dot provide a helping hand to retrieve more customers. And that's pretty much the episode. My favorite part has to go to the star of the episode, King Gambit. This Pokemon is so intense that the way they write them is hilarious. They executed every joke perfectly. And even delivered on its commanding army gimmick into the Pikachu short. And it was just awesome. In fact, they're so intense that they even struggle to bring a plate properly to the table without shattering it. King Gambit isn't the only Pokemon who receives some comedy because Tika Teak is having a blast at trying to find new hammers to design. <laughs> But shifting gears back to King Gambit, Bisharp is one of my top 20 favorite Pokemon of the Unova region. And while I'm not a huge fan of King Gambit's 3D model in the Scarlet and Violet games, I'm glad they were able to translate this Pokemon just fine into the anime. King Gambit also has a part to play in the story because of the restaurant. Since the Anything Eatery focuses on including everything, it's the sole reason why they can't attract any customers, because nobody remembers if what they ate was good or not. So Dot is the one who helps come up with the solution, and I appreciate how they use her marketing skills as a content creator to solve the problem. They pretty much use King Gambit's Udon as a focus, and it works brilliantly. They also use Sinian to attract customers by engaging in a Pokemon battle, and this successfully lures everyone over thanks to King Gambit's gimmick. While the story's execution was great, there's not much else to say. It's entertaining and fun fun as a standalone episode, but it's not needed for the overarching story. We did receive a Larry cameo, but it didn't serve anything to the table, if you get my metaphor. However, the music sounded great as always, and I love the theme they chose for the climax, and the clashing visuals between Quaxi and Garganeckle's attacks made me nostalgic towards how they approach combinations from Pokemon contests. But yeah, this is one of the few episodes of Pokemon Horizons you're free to skip if you're watching to progress through the story. But if you're a fan of King Gamut and Udon, this is definitely the episode for you. We give the signature Pokemon is King Gamut a 6 out of 10. Thank God they replaced that dance. 